Hi, I'm Rick Liberale with another edition of the Week in Review. The 14th Judicial District Attorney's Office will present the case of Louis Paul Ackerman before a grand jury to decide whether formal charges should be brought against him. A grand jury is essentially a group of citizens with the power to call witnesses and complete investigations to determine whether charges should be filed in a case. Their work is done out of the public eye. Ackerman was arrested on July 4th in connection with a vehicle pedestrian collision that took place on Highway 34. Ackerman hit a family walking down the road. The father, Gregory Wesley, 50, was pronounced dead at the scene. His wife, Debbie Wesley, 49, and three children were flown to Denver area hospitals for treatment of serious injuries. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and its partners are providing $12 million during the next three years to support 75 fish habitat conservation projects in 27 states, ranging from restoring submerged aquatic vegetation in oyster beds in Florida to restoring degraded stream and estuary habitat for native fish in Hawaii. Colorado will receive $1.3 million for three projects this year. The Fraser River is not slated to receive money at this time. Republican State Senator Randy Baumgartner kicked off his Senate campaign last week saying he believed the incumbent in the race, Senator Mark Udall, is vulnerable. Baumgartner vowed to represent the working class of Colorado if elected. Baumgartner was elected to the Colorado House of Representatives in 2008 and to the Colorado Senate in 2012. He represents Senate District 8, the counties of Northwest Colorado. As part of its recent downtown assessment, the town of Grand Lake is looking to revamp its image. The town has assembled a team of homeowners and business owners to develop Grand Lake's brand. The goal is to put the town on the map and highlight it as a year-round resort destination, according to Lisa Jonas, who is heading the branding committee. The branding process is still in its early stages, Jonas said. The next step is to survey the community members and inventory the town's assets. Colorado officials are viewing the Bureau of Reclamation's Colorado River Basin Water Demand and Supply Study as a wake-up call, urging the federal government to make every drop count. Senator Mark Udall chaired a hearing of the Senate Subcommittee on Water and Power recently, urging his colleagues to adopt strategies to reverse the widening gap between supply and demand for the almost 40 million people who depend on the Colorado River Basin. Colorado residents will play a large part in shaping the overall health of the basin as the state commences work on the Colorado Water Plan, according to Bart Miller, Water Program Director for Western Resources. The Colorado Water Conservation Board will submit a draft of the plan to the Governor's Review in 2014 and work with the Governor's Office to complete the plan in 2015. That's it for this edition for the Week in Review. See you next time. Grand County's Week in Review is brought to you by Grand Mountain Bank, your hometown bank.